Welcome back to the channel guys. Have you ever seen a crop circle or heard about a crop circle and wondered what it was? Did you know that they're actually real? In this episode, we're gonna talk about very quickly and briefly what a center pivot is and how when you're flying in an airplane over the middle of the country and you look down and you see all those perfect round green circles, what they are and where they come from. Stay tuned, follow along. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. I'd like to keep teaching you more about the simple things that we do in agriculture that impact your life every day. meetings in California today and I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity for this farming 101. I want to show you what's going on outside my window. You see that perfect little yellow circle down there? That's a center pivot. Have you ever seen one of those as you're flying over the Midwest? You see circle after circle after circle, these green dots. Well, that's a center pivot. And I want to tell you what a center pivot is. A center pivot is a form of irrigation. It's a sprinkler system that pivots around the center it's a pipe that runs from the center to the end on wheels with these sprinkler packets that are super efficient and designed to deliver the amount of water that we need on a farm. That's why you see them everywhere. They're prolific. They're used worldwide and they've changed in a lot of ways the way that we farm because they are so incredibly efficient. It allows us to get on farmland that we otherwise wouldn't even be able to use. It allows us to spread the amount of water, especially when you think of Lake Mead or Lake Powell right now and how short on water they are. Everyone's thinking about water. You think about California and the challenges that they're having in the San Joaquin Valley, they're also thinking about water, which is making you, the consumer, also think about water. Center pivots are great at conserving water because you can put them on at the rate you need when you need it. You also have great technology, soil uh, monitors, uh, GPS, that allows you to understand what's happening in your field. Apply more water at some points and less water at others. I think the other piece of uh, center pivots that's valuable is the reduction in labor. We're looking at how hard it is to get people in the field and on the farm. And center pivots allow you from an app on your phone to turn a sprinkler system on and off to monitor what's happening there. And it has a cool factor. And I think that's also helping us. So it's something that's just mechanical that seems really simple but it really does have an impact on how we operate in, in farming. And it also has this, this value that it adds to your land because of the simplicity uh, of use. So if we're looking at farms to buy, and I wish we had more, we only have seven or eight of them. Uh, if you're looking at farms to buy, it's like, okay, I want that farm because it has the center pivot and it's gonna make life easier. And I know I can use uh, the water that I have efficiently to allow me to farm my entire farm. That's something you may not have considered as well. We're allotted four acre feet in the area where we live. And if you're out in the desert like this, in fact, let me just scroll over here, you can see this. Look at all that desert ground. We're in the desert. We have to conserve the water. We have to be responsible with it. And so in order to do that, we have to pick the methodologies that will allow us to be efficient to make that water go as far as possible. And use the consumer need us to do that as well. I have a lot of people that ask me a lot of the time, hey Shay, why do you guys even farm in the desert? Well, you shouldn't really farm in the desert. Well, we, we farm in the desert because in a lot of ways it's more efficient. We have more sunlight, we have less pest pressure, we have uh, drier conditions that mean less fungicide. So there's actually a lot of efficiencies built into farming in the desert and center pivots are a huge part of that. We just need to use the technology that's available to us so that we can get the food on the table for you because that's our job and that's what we're trying to do. That's what we feel like is our responsibility and uh, center pivots have really helped us to be more responsible and more effective 
and more proactive in uh, making a difference in that water usage. So the next time you're in that airplane and you look down and you see that circle, remember this conversation and maybe lean over and tell your neighbor what they're seeing too. We'll see you.